Hi there. So you're thinking about building a Hampton. Well, I'm here outside of a Hampton B model home. This floor plan has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 1,847 square feet, and the starting build price is 3109. Let's go take a look. Out here in River Chase, all of our homes are lined with this compressed concrete party plank siding. They all do come standard with this gas lantern as well as your address plaque. One thing I really like about this floor plan is the double door entry. Come on in. Very wide open living space. Right ahead, this is where you would place your dining table. Across to your right, this is gonna be your living area. Underneath this couch, you do have a floor outlet which allows us to have the two end tables to the side, plug in those lamps and no wires crossing your floor. Here, you have your ventless gas fireplace. This is something that comes standard. Here, you have a three centimeter granite. This is one of our Moonlight standard options. Behind this picture, we have an HDMI drop. You will get that with every floor plan that you built here. That's gonna allow you to mount your television and not have any wires hanging. You'll notice that to the side, you have empty space. If you wanted us to, we could add built-in units for you. They would have storage on the bottom, shelving going up top with beadboard backing. Now across the way here, you see the kitchen. Now if you're building this floor plan, if you really wanna make that kitchen pop and you wanna frame it out, you can add for $900 an exposed cypress beam going all the way across. You get your choice between four different stain options. With this floor plan, it's great because you do get tons of storage in the kitchen, including under cabinet storage. Again, here you can get a closer look at one of our standard options, that moonlight granite, three centimeter. Now, one thing I want you to notice while we are looking down is this is one of our standard flooring options. This is gonna be an engineered hardwood New York birch. It's butting up into the kitchen, one of our upgraded tile selections. Easy way for me to tell it's upgraded is that it carries this rectangular shape rather than our oversized 16 by 16 wet tiles. Maybe you're the type of person that doesn't care for a break in the floor. You can always upgrade to pull that wood straight through the kitchen and have one seamless floor. As we come in, I don't know why this is one of my favorite things about this floor plan, but it is this absolutely precious little coffee nook. You come around here, Keurig would fit perfectly each drawer, you could put a different sweetener in each drawer, your filters, your little pods, everything. It's the little things. Here in this floor plan, you will have a double pantry situation. This is your standard pantry, but right next to it, you do have additional pantry space. You can take a look in here. This is my current model home, so you'll see. You'll see my level homes as well as my snacks. So just know if you come take a tour of this house, you can have some snacks. Now, this home does feature our standard appliances. Standard in this community, you're gonna get the GE Profile Series. That means included in the purchase price of your home, you're getting this Profile Microwave, which I love the height and depth of it. Being on the shorter side makes it really easy to get in there and actually clean the back of your microwave without looking for your kitchen stool. Here, you're gonna have your oven and wall. Coming back around this way, Again, that standard granite, but we did upgrade to add a backsplash. Gorgeous backsplash that I think goes so well with this granite, but standard, if we didn't add it, we would pull this granite up four inches and then paint that back wall. Back to appliances, 30 inch gas cooktop, five burners, standard. If you wanna upgrade and maybe have 36 inches, or if you even wanted to upgrade to a cafe series, you could, but just know going in included with that purchase price, you're getting a heck of a deal. Here you do have your dual sinks. If you wanted to upgrade, we do have many of sink options. We can make that a single compartment sink. We could do a deep square chef stainless steel sink, granite composite, and we can even do the farmhouse sink, both single and dual compartment. Standard spacing for your refrigerator. And also notice that these five inch poles, these are also standard features. You also will receive pendant standard. I will note, however, we did upgrade these two. 
Now, coming off of your living area, we're gonna get to that half bath. Whenever I have folks over, I'd much rather than prefer come to my half bath rather than my own personal bathroom. So here you'll see that upgraded tile, that standard granite, but we did upgrade our faucet plumbing. Um, standard, you would have a shiny chrome Fitzer fixture. Here, it's that same Fitzer fixture, but it's satin nickel. If you're building, you can choose chrome standard or upgrade to this satin nickel or to the oil rub bronze. Now, across from the bathroom, still in that hallway, we have our side patio. Out here at River Chase, we are working with small lots and it's all rear loaded. So your garage is actually gonna be at the back of the home. No space for a backyard, no worries. We utilize the side yard. It offers a lot of privacy and really nice space. Let's go take a look. Out here, again, compressed concrete hardy plank. You have lock and wiring for a ceiling fan. You have a standard cable drop. So that way, if you wanna watch TV, catch the big game, you can. It's not here, but if you're building, say you wanna do an outdoor kitchen, you absolutely can. For $375, we offer a gas drop, and for $1,000, the full package, water, drain, and gas. Now, this is our standard patio pour, but I will note, if you did want to extend your patio, you absolutely can. The brick ribbon will just go out to how far you've extended it. Now, going back into the house, let's check out these secondary bedrooms. We're currently utilizing the first secondary bedroom as an office. This room is 11 by 11. Plenty of space, plenty of natural light, and also has a nice size closet, which it mirrors the room across this Jack and Jill bath. So I'll show you that closet. Coming through your Jack and Jill, it is separated. You have your main vanity area here. A lot of folks know that there's this empty nook out space here. Because we're working with a smaller square footage, instead of dedicating entire space to a linen cabinet, we give you the option. If you'd like us to do a built-in linen cabinet for you, we absolutely can do that. If not, maybe you have a piece of furniture or even a hamper that you'd like to place here. On the other side, you're gonna have your water closet and bathtub. Now in here, it's good to know that this is our standard fiberglass push-in tub. If you'd like, you can always upgrade to have a cast iron tub and either surround it with this flooring tile or with a subway tile. Your other secondary bedroom, again, mirrors the one on the other side. They are 11 by 11. Notice as we're walking through, River Chase has no carpet on the first floor, so it's nothing you even have to upgrade to. Looking up, you're gonna notice a flush mount. Now, if you're a person like me who does like a ceiling fan, we can add a ceiling fan for you. Or if you'd rather do that yourself after sale, you can, because every bedroom is wired. So you can easily take that down, put up your own fan with a light kit, and you're good to go. Now this closet mirrors the one in the other room as well. And as you step in, you'll notice a lot of good storage space here. Now, out from this bedroom, you can go right into the laundry room. This laundry room is huge. So nice, so deep. Now, standard, this laundry room is gonna come with the shelf and the rod coming all the way across. Here, we've added an upper cabinet. This laundry room is so big that you could do double cabinets, a lower, and even a utility sink. Now, leaving the laundry room, right around the corner is gonna be your garage. Every level home in River Chase is going to come with a standard two car garage. They do vary with extra nook out storage space depending on the floor plan. The Hampton floor plan, the garage is going to measure 21 by 21. But as you come out and turn, you can notice you have a lot of nooked out extra storage here. Enough space for a refrigerator, a deep freeze, what have you. Plenty of space for two cars to get in. Then here you even have extra nook out storage. Granted, right now it's holding my signs, but once I've moved out of this house, plenty of space for extra storage, especially things like lawnmowers and what have you. Now, 
as I said earlier in the home, this is all rear alley. So as you come out, you'll see we have a private access alleyway. This is for homeowners. And all of these homes will be garage to garage. Let's pop back in and go take a look at that master. Now, right as you step in to the right, you're going to notice this nooked out space. Here, we can add a built-in mud bench for you. Absolutely gorgeous. At the bottom, you have drawers for storage, top bench to sit on, beadboard backing with hooks, and then at the top, additional storage. Definitely worth it, but just know that if you have your own piece of furniture, or maybe you know someone that can build that for you, we have that nooked out space. Now head into the right, we're going to go into the master bedroom. Great size bedroom. This master suite measures 1210 by 158. Here we have a queen bed, two rather large end tables on either side, and you can tell still ample space. On the opposite wall, oversized dresser, still tons of space. At the foot of the bed, a bench, ample walkway. Here in your master bedroom, you do get a fan, standard. Well, let's check out the bathroom. This bathroom and this master closet may be the best. So coming in, you'll see you have a nice long dual vanity. Again, there's standard five inch poles, standard moonlight granite, but the upgraded plumbing, and we did choose a beautiful mirror. Just know if you're building, you get the choice of nine, all included in the price of the home. Now coming in behind this door, you're gonna have your custom tiled in shower. Standard, you're getting a tiled in floor and the seamless door, no need for upgrade. To the side here, you're gonna have your five foot soaking tub with your three centimeter granite decking, along with a nice privacy window. Ahead, your water closet and then the master closet. This is the closet I usually get the most oohs and ahs out of because check in the sheer number of built-ins here. All of this is standard. No storage package gimmick. They are all real wood built-in shelves. Take one last look at that living area to really, really show you how nice and cozy this home is. I want to thank you for taking the time to tour our Hampton floor plan. Again, this is three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 1,847 square feet, Starting build price, 3109. If you'd like to know more about this home, please contact me. You can call me at 504-427-6302 or send me an email at lynda at levelbr.com. Thanks so much.